Ah, yes, the scan disk thing. That's right. Back in the old days, if you turned off your computer by just pressing the button on the computer device, then when you started it up again, it would do this. Microsoft would think that that something bad might have happened, and it'll run this five-minute-long scan disk thing. And if you're an average computer user from the 90s, and you were sitting there biting your fingernails, saying, oh no, please, please get to the end, please don't anything bad happen, and you were scared, you were terrified it would get to the 96% and then say, alert, everything's dead. You would say, I'm sorry, but your computer's not going to make it. Everything's over forever. The death of your computer. Real tragedy. But at least that wouldn't have been as bad as it would be if it had said, you have committed an illegal operation. Which was the ultimate terror of 90s computer users. Hope you enjoyed that delightful jittery riff from Windows 98 there. Windows, Windows 98 beginning thing. But time for some jitters of a whole di- time for some jitters of a whole different nature now. Because it's time for the Darling Kindersley. Or what Darling what is it Dor- Darling Kindersley, yes. Darking Lindersley the Ultimate Body. I had to stretch our minds, stretch our bones, and stretch our bodies. If the ultimate human body has got a delightful... Oh, what's this? I'm using too many colours for the ultimate body to deal with. Off to a nice start here. This thing expects even less of a good graphics than it has now. When I had it on 16 colours earlier, then every time it played any kind of animation, then the latest image in the animation appeared by being slowly loaded from the bottom of the screen to the top. So it would slowly, very smoothly admittedly, but it would slowly produce the next image in the thing, like a slideshow from the bottom up to the top. It would take several seconds to show the whole thing. If you played a movie file, then it would show... Every three seconds it would show you the next frame that it would have gotten to in the movie three seconds later. So if that's what Darling Kindersley's ultimate body wants, then I'm a bit worried about this. Especially upon seeing this here. Oh, brother. Well, here we are. Here we are. The DK. The DK! Ultimate Human Body 2.0! Doesn't quite have the same ring to it as the DK rap. But, oh well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to force you to suffer this. I think... We'll take some drastic action and actually change the display to 16 colours, like the game wants. I know it's, it's terrifying, but well, maybe a little bit high colour, maybe that'll be okay. <laughs> Restart your computer to change the colour settings, come on. Uh, where, 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 where do we leave it off then? Uh, where, 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 where is the ultimate human body? Um, over there, in my computer. Let's try that again. Much better. That looks good. Let's see what the skeletons look like. The ultimate human body. The ultimate. It makes it sound like it's about the greatest body in the world, like Arnold Schwarzenegger's body, the the game. This is an encyclopedia of Arnold Schwarzenegger's body, who has the ultimate human body out of all human beings. I'm not that human beings are much of a judge as to what the ultimate human body is, anyway. <laughs> Who ever we to say what anything is? Ultimate human body, don't give me, give me strength, all human race. It's a bunch of bones and uh, flesh and stuff. Isn't this pleasant, by the way? Maybe I should put a warning on this video, a warning, it's going to disgust you. Perfectly natural. Perfectly natural to see the insides of somebody else's body. Nothing to be afraid of, folks. Those animations are strangely smooth, fast. Oh, good, a quiz. That's why I like to see the body quiz challenge, but let's not body online. Let's go to 3D scanner. I don't know what this stuff is. I guess you just get to look around the whole human body. 
Aye, organ of sight. Just in case you didn't know, sales in each reta sales. <laughs> sales! <laughs> yeah, the eye is trying to get its sales figures up for this quarter. It's only reached the half of its quota so far in the in the second in the first uh, two thirds of the quarter, so you better pull your socks up, I. Or rather your nuclear um, flangelas. Pull your corneas up and get that uh, Adena sine triphosphate flowing to leverage all your core competencies for the next quarter. Cells in each retina register light rays reflected from objects and send nerve impulses to the brain, where information is combined to create a single view of the outside world. Statistics. Weight. About 7 grams, a quarter of an ounce. Measures. 2.5 centimeters, 1 inch across. Data analysis. There are about 120 rod cells and 7 million cone cells in each retina. Okay, it's fascinating. Let's see the video. Inside the eye. Yep, yes. Inside the eye. What? Play. Here we go. There's the eye. All of its beauty. Isn't it gorgeous, folks? Doesn't it make you feel happy to have eyes? But that's us. That's us right there. Isn't it gorgeous? It's the stuff of poetry. The eye. As soon as this thing loads, at least it might be. Come on. I thought he was going to speak, but... No, that was it. That was the eye. That was a lot there. Full screen mode of the eye. Let's watch the eye in glorious, painfully slow frame rate eye edge. That was the 1990s CGI eye. CGI eye 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 Zordon, we'd better get the Dorling Kindersley! Oh no! Oh no, the Dorling Kindersley monsters come to attack whatever the name of the place is. Have no fear. Whatever the blooming robot's name was as well, I've forgotten that too. We'll send five teenagers with attitude to take out the the Dorling Kindersley monster. So that was the eye. Was this system scatter? Well, I think. All right, anatomy of the eye. Anatomy, yeah. Your eyes are very important sense organs. They collect information about the world around you and send it to your brain. Here, the information is processed, creating all the images that you can see. The eyeball is a slightly bulging sphere. Only the iris, the pupil, and the cornea are actually visible. The rest of the eyeball is set inside the skull. The eye muscles hold the eye in place and control its movements. Muscles. Six muscles control the movement of the eyeball. Optic nerve connects the eye with the brain. Sclera. Yeah, that's all of the stuff in your eye. All those red lines are the things behind your eye. Some people are creeped out by eyes. Well, I've jumped straight in with eyes here. Cornea. That's the white things. That's the whiteness of your eye. If your eye is an egg, if your eye is an egg, which it's not, then the cornea is the white of the egg and the iris is the yolk. The pupil is the yolk of the yolk. Pupil's the yolk most of yolk. All the yolk folk live there. Like Beramias. Conjunctive. The conjunctiva. Transparent skin protecting the eye. There's a sound file for that. Let's listen to it. Okay, conjunctiva. Just to tell us how to say it. Let's take a look inside the eye. The eyeball is a fluid-filled sphere with a tough outer coating called the sclera. The front part of the sclera, the cornea, is clear to allow is clear to allow light to enter the eyeball. Behind the cornea is the iris with an opening, the pupil in the centre, light entering the eye passes through the pupil and the lens and strikes the retina at the back of the eyeball. The light sensitive cells of the retina lay the nerve pulses across the lapnic nerve to the brain. So all the different parts of your eye the lens of your eye is in your eye. I'm sort of already tired of this program. The iris is the coloured eyes. Cornea is the clear, bulging eye, blind spot eye and stuff. I certainly don't have the mind of a scientist. Uh, so let's just get out of here. The vitreous humour liquid. What's this over here?
Okay, just talking about the entire nervous system. The brain in that giant yellow snake that goes all the way down. Can we not scroll down? Oh, this game's too old for that. The dysphoric nerves in your chest. Twelve exciting nerves. Brachial plexus. Bunch of nerve muscles. The nerves that are also there. Muscles in your muscles and skin and muscles. Control muscles. Nerves of this, nerves of that, nerves of the other, nerves of your grandmother, nerves of your grandfather, nerves of your bla duckbill platypus just on a Friday, Tuesday this afternoon. And all the rest of it. Can we go down? Is that what takes us down? No, that just zooms us in. Into the brain. The cerebrum. And the uh, optic nerve. The, the cranial nerves. The salivary clel nervas. Medulla oblongata pons. <laughs> pons. There's the pons. Yeah, that's the pons right there. Viewer on. There's no apparent option to turn the viewer off, though. System scanner. I think all systems full power, quite literally here. There's a few non-systems, though. My orchids. What, is this is a humanist? You're assuming that I'm human? Well, you know, I could be a, a chimpanzee right here looking at this. Don't you go start making presumptions about my species, madam. Mrs. American equivalent of the BBC accent. She's got an American BBC accent. I don't know what that means, but it's what she's got. Oh, you can click the body to look around. There's our happy... There's the stuff inside of us. Uh, you can learn all about what the insides of your bodies look like. Right here in 1996. It's the esophagus. That blue... That blue thing. Is that actually blue? It looks like a mechanical thing. Winged pipe is somewhere too. No, the wait, what's what here? The windpipe and the esophagus both look like they're pointing to that blue thing. Click on the lungs to remove them. Get lost, lungs. Take that. Is that how man being a doctor is easy? I should be I should I should be doing like body surgery like this. If it's this simple, what could possibly go wrong? That's the lungs taken care of. Now I'll move on to my next body organ, the nurse. Fetch me my scalpel over there. Yes, that's right, the one on that table. No, fetch me my plumber. I need a curved plumber. Get that for me. And then I'll use my Koopa Trooper. On the fire sumo. Oh no, this operation's gonna need a bit more delicacy. I'm gonna have to wheel out the fire sumo! Oh, we gotta use it to cut the fire! Oh, it's looking bad, nurse. I'm going to have to make an incision all the way from his mushroom, all the way to his copalings. Okay, if I make a surgical incision on the magic balloon, and then if I just carve a quarter triclide down his picnic, we might just be able to extract the... <laughs> Oh, but no, there's a cloud in the way. Get that out. We don't need that. Nurse, I thought I told you to make sure that the Magnum Bill was ready for the next incision. All right. Nurse 5, next we've got to suture the pesky plumbers. And make sure that all of the spaghetti has been taken care of. And we've got to make sure the spaghetti is fully... fully separated from the licensed plumber! before we move on to the final part of the operation. The decant mentalizing of the enclosed instruction book. Excellent. The operation was a success, nurse. Against all odds, we have managed... Against all odds, we have managed to save this patient. So, ribs. Is that going to just say the word ribs? Say it again. Ribs. It said ribs, then played a little distorted sound after it. I mean, all the sound is distorted in this. But, you know, you've got 12 pairs of bodies, 12 pairs of slim bones called ribs. They curl around your chest from your spine to your breastbone to form a rib cage, which protects your heart and lungs. Some muscles between the ribs contract to enlarge the rib cage when you breathe in, sucking in air. And sucking in air. Most of your ribs are attached to your breastbone and are called true ribs. <laughs> the true ribs, not like those, those, 
Those unsafe, not like those seedy false ribs down below. We don't talk about them in doctors. We don't talk about them in doctor circles. No self-respecting medic would would acknowledge the existence of the false ribs. The eighth, ninth, and tenth ribs are not attached directly. Oh, they actually are called false ribs. I was just, <laughs> I didn't read that. <laughs> True and false ribs, crumbs. I see medicine as full of stupid terminology, just like everything else. I see, I see medicine as as full of stupid terminology as everything else. Every other domain of human inquiry. The bottom two pairs of ribs are attached to muscles. What am I doing? There's nothing fun. All I care about is fun. There's nothing here. <laughs> Unless you go all the way down to his legs, but there's just nothing there. It's just the this bit. What else have we got? Organs of the abdomen. Small intestine. The small intestine is famously the longest, the longest organ in the human body, despite being called the small intestine. Or is that an urban legend? I don't see anything here talking about it. There's one called the large intestine as well, but it's smaller than the small one. Or well, supposedly. Stomach is a flexible bag with muscles. Enzymes. Produces liquid called chyme. I mean, if I cared about anything in the physical universe, I would be maybe reading this. Well, except that this is 1996. It's a bit dated. Well, medicine has not changed much. I mean, I'm guessing this stuff is largely still, uh, you know, still accurate and stuff. Large intestine takes stuff through your anal canal and waste food is passed into the sesum from the small intestine. The small intestine passes the waste food into the, uh, well, the sesum. And then from the sesum, I guess, it goes into the large intestine. And then finally, after some of that waste is reabsorbed back into your body to hang around, the rest of it is feces, which is stored in the rectum. And I think you could all you all know where it goes from there. If you know where those, if you know what those words mean, at least you know where it goes from there. But some of it decides to stay behind in your body and just sort of just get reabsorbed and stick with you. It just doesn't want to leave, just like me. It just doesn't want to leave. It just decides to stay home rather than venturing out into the big brave world and quickly getting, quickly landing in the toilet and getting sh floated off and getting sent off to sea. Or the sewers, rather, whatever, wherever it goes. And it stays inside your body forever. Now, click on the liver. Let's get that liver, get the liver out of there. Who needs them? Who needs livers? You really got to learn to liver it up, darling Kindersley's 96. I mean, I guess you just don't have the stomach for these kinds of radical images that we're seeing here before us. And if you thought that these puns were getting bladder, just wait till you see how much I've... Uh, that's a, I know it can be a real pancreas as well, but it's all here. Uh, but, uh, but you're just going to have to wait until I've finished with the... Uh, but in... T that's not enough. But in... But intestine didn't... No, it doesn't work. Intestine... But in but that's the last of it. And in testing this program, just going to have to get patient with the Ultimate Human Body 2.0, because in testing this program, I've discovered that it doesn't work on 256 colour mode properly. And, and, uh, I know that Abdomen. Abdomen. Abda. Abdomen. And abdomen here. There's no need to get an organic. You've really got to. Organ. It's going to take us some serious organization and abdomen work to... It's going to take us some serious organization and teamwork to get through this together. And if you think that I'm abdomen yawn, and if you and if you think I'm... But if you think I'm just abdomen yawn with this... But if you think I'm just abdomen a laugh... But if you think I'm abdomen yawn when it comes to the educational content of the darling Kindersley 
Ultimate Human Body 2.0, then you're wrong. Because there is plenty of... at its head and neck above the rest of its competition. Especially when it comes to such... Such... Uh, it's, it's like a true treasure chest of information about your body based on 1996 medicine. So there, that's that's the ultimate human body. Can we go back now? That's your heart, and there's liters, loads of them, millions even. Oh, public, yeah, millions of liters in a lifetime. You've got 300 million liters in a lifetime of blood that this thing is just going to deal with. So thanks, heart. There's your mouth and lips as well. It's the oral cavity. There's a load of stuff. The saliva, the ovular, that's the little... So uh, that's that little pink thing that's flapping about at the top. That's your ovular. Or uvula, I think it is. Let's find out. Gland openings of the mouth. Your mouth is the area that lies between your lips and your throat. Your epiglottis is a thing. Lymphatic anatomies. And spleen! We all wanted to learn about our spleen, didn't we? All the various pulps. And it sure has spleen a great time we've had together with the Ultimate Human Body 2.0, but we're not done yet. Because it's about time that happy as... We are all going to be happy as larynx with the, the larynx section. It really does look like a blue metal sci-fi body part thing. Look at this, is this real? Is that actually what it looks like? Is, there's no way it's actually light blue, right? Larynx is your voice box because it's got vocal cords. It's in your neck, the front of your neck. It keeps your windpipes piping. It keeps your food fruiting. And it stops you choking. And it enables you to speak. All the various views of this thing. I can't believe it's blue. Can I get some doctors in the audience to confirm that? Respiratory respite. How do I... I actually wanted to, I wanted to get out of this whole bit of this system, but... Like this entire section of this computer program. Yawning. Is this a context sensitive menu? Yeah, it is. This is all about the head. Where's the home the 3D lab? Is this it? Is this the home button? Yes, it is. Okay, well, I, I've... how much stuff actually is there in this? I mean, this is what it takes you to when you go into that whole main thing, but. What is the. It's not letting me go down. Oh wait, there's buttons here. <laughs> I guess some different camera angles. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> That's the bladder. Hey, is the is the ultimate human body gonna gonna touch on the stuff that the teachers don't want you to know exist? The stuff they're too uncomfortable to talk about. All the doctors are all the middle class, or well, middle upper, middle to upper class. Sorry, all the middle to upper class doctors in the the Cambridge mansion parlors are coughing nervously and filing their clipboards when somebody brings this up. Do we get to see the the stuff down here? Uh, it looks like we don't, actually. They, they didn't have the guts to show the thing that I'm thinking of. For shame, darling Kindersley. They don't have a problem with the Venus de Milo. Why should they have a problem with a 3D, cheaply, like, well, 1996 skeleton? Uh, long kidney diaphragm, blade, pelvic, pelvic girdle, ulna. The ulna? What? Radius? What now is the ulna? How do we get the main... Like, where was I? Where's the thing that I was at earlier? Where do I get the information section? Skulls... Uh, what was that? Was that a movie file there? I don't care though. Oh, movement videos. Let's see this. Walking and running. Okay, skellies. Let's watch. Oh, that's very smooth, actually. In fact, that's shockingly smooth. Didn't expect it to be quite that good of a frame rate. I mean, that looks really good. 
can watch all those bones moving if it pleases you. Oh, and he's off. It's the Skeleton Olympics. Usain Skelt is in the lead, but coming up soon quickly behind is Linford Skeltsy and whatever other runners are popular right now. The uh, copy, print, the, uh, no, I want to go, oh, well, I'll go back to the lab. Let's go back to the lab. This is the first time I've used this disc ever since 1996. I never bothered with this. And I'm, I can see why. But there is one thing I'm looking forward to getting to in this, this package. Skull, neck, spine, this, those, the others, there. Yeah, there's really not much to this. I'm sure that it was exciting in 1996, though, but there's only so much you can be excited by the, a skeleton <laughs> and some text telling you about skeletons. Again, when I was younger and I was and I still cared about things, I might have took an interest in all these facts, but I don't anymore. I just don't care anymore. I'm just waiting to die over here. That's what happens, kids. What is this? The surface of your eye must be kept moist. Or oh, why do you blink? It's talking about why we blink. The body machine. How do you swallow? How do you chew? By using your teeth, maybe? Ultimate body, too? What happens when you sleep? You sleep. How do you hear with your ears? Man, this is pathetic. I'm smarter than all of these things. I'm more intelligent than the entire medical establishment. Quite clearly. What happens when you exercise? Where does your energy come from? How do you make your bones go stronger? Or what are you made of? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, we've seen all three parts of the body. The ultimate human body. We've not gone to the body online, but let's face it, nothing's going to happen. Welcome to the body online internet link. Please click on OK to confirm you would like to proceed with the connection to the body online website. I would indeed like to proceed to that. Oh, but unfortunately, I don't even have a web browser. Oh, I do. It's it's iExplore. Yeah, I want to use iExplore for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I do want to use that to get to the body online. And I think I just gave it up the ghost before it even started. Oh, wait, no. Nope. Welcome to MSN Internet Access. Time to install. Oh, we got to install the internet before we can use it. Well, that's understandable. Let's install a modem. Click next and continue. I want to see how far we can get with this. Windows will now try to detect your modem. Here we go. To check in comms po communications port 2. Looking for a modem. It's by by gosh golly darn it. It's trying its best. It's searching. for. It's feeling around for the modem. But like a chimpanzee in the face of an iPhone. It just doesn't understand what it's seeing. What the devil is this? Virgin Media Router? What is this witchcraft? I've never heard the like. Did not find anything that it, it understood, so it just assumed there was nothing. Just like medicine. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, let's uh, body quiz challenge. Right, good. Mm. This is the only part I would have cared about as a child, and it's the only part I care about now. Body quiz challenge. Answer all 15 questions to complete your journey through the body. Not many questions, but whatever. Let's give it a bash. Let's see how much I get floored by this. Well, yeah, right off the bat. What do the cilia in your nose do? I actually don't know. Help you breathe? Olfactory. I know that means smell. That was in Philo Mortis 2. How do I get back? Return to quiz. So, sense orders. Ah, ween! Ah, ween! Oh, look at some of those, it's those blood cells. I didn't know about the, the Gordo spike balls from Kirby. They apparently were floating around inside your body. They're literally just spike balls. What part of the ear that helps you balance? Isn't that the eardrum that does that? No. 
Although, I don't know if the other thing was correct or not, but we're going to keep going. How many different orders could you have those? I don't know. 100,000 though? 1 million? No, none of 10,000. That's still a lot, but... How, why do you swallow to relieve the discomfort in your ears as a plane takes off? Well, I don't know that. Uh, to open the eustachian tubes. Arr! Stupid dog! That's what he's complaining about. That's why Eustace is always so agitated. His canals haven't taken off properly. What are phalanges types of? <laughs> I'm failing all of these. I've only gotten one of them correct, and that was on the second attempt. What would you use to show a cross-sectional image of your body? A CT scanner? That was a guess. I don't even know what CT stands for. What adjective means of the heart? Cardiac! I know that one. Because of cardiac arrest, which means your heart. It means a heart attack. Which are the largest and strongest vertebrae? That would, of course, be the lumbar vertebrae. I just guessed again with that. What is so special about heart muscle? It's, uh, it needs no blood... I'm going to assume it needs a blood supply. I'm going to assume it tires, too. <laughs> really? It, it does not tire. It never tires. It, it just won't get fed up. It just doesn't get sick of filing all those chartered accounts. You can just fling as much blood to pump as you want. It will just happily take it on board. It's the burger flipper of the human body. What is an electrocardiograph used for? Uh, I mean, the word electric would make sense, but that's all that I took note of in that. Fifteen questions, isn't there? What chemicals are produced naturally to attack germs? Antibodies. There. I sort of maybe knew that. Largest nerve of the body. The... Sciatic? Yeah, that's the one that goes up your back, I believe. That nerve goes right up your back. How much of an infant's body weight is made up of water? 75%, really? What is your... I mean, I've heard about how humans are mostly water, but... I didn't think it was that mostly. Which is the largest tendon? Probably the quadriceps. Probably the Achilles tendon. How are we doing here? Which muscle helps straighten your foot at the ankle? A bunch of muscles I've never heard of. It wasn't the teres major, it was the Petronius brevis, whatever else. Oh, we're finished. And how did we rank up then? Are we going to get into medical school? Do we get to be a... Do you just give me my doctorate now? I'll just take my doctorate now. I'll just collect my doctorate on the way out. Oh, 17 out of 30. That's a passing mark in Britain, so yeah, I'm a doctor. Just like Harold Shipman. I got through the, that. I would have got through that. It's a passing grade. It's over 50%. That's all that matters. Would I like to try the human body again? Yeah, I'd like to try it again. Let's get a perfect score. What's the oval window? Oh, that's it. It's not. I'm not going to be able to do this, let's be honest. It's over. No! Oh, back to the lab. Yeah, be back. I don't care if my answers aren't saved. Nobody cares. If you'd given me some kind of named ranking at the end of that quiz, then I might have bothered to try and do better, but you didn't, so I don't care. That was the human... This isn't like Know Your Stuff. I feel no investment in this quiz. That was the human body. Ul the ultimate, the ultimate human body. 2.0. That was it. That was really quite lame. I'm glad that I didn't bother myself with this back then, because there's nothing to see. But if you think you've got the, the, uh, if you think that you'd have to be a sciatic, you'd. If you've got the muscles, if you think you've got the muscle for some more learning with the Ultimate Human Body 2.0, then you might want to, to you, you must be a complete sciatopath, because this, the, because you, the, there's, your rib, you must be ribbing me if you think that I'm going to sit around here and and radius the body, and radius this up, and radius this application some more for more, more, um, 
for the all of this this is for I mean this has been such a corny experience. This has been such a corny application, and there's been so much. Let's get back into the body. It's it's got a lot of heart, and if we can just. Long. Long, long. If we can just lung about a bit longer, we might find that there's at least a fair bit of humorous content to be seen. I mean, after all, if, if, uh, if Count Dracula's second cousin, Scarpula, likes to talk about the human body, then, then we can always clave all together on the matter and see if we can muster up the spine that is required to to um to 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 re to ulna to ulna into the diaphragmatic imagination that is surely uh 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 what was that I saw the word globe somewhere you saw it too right something globe let's go down more I mean up more whatever this thing thinks up and down is we can girdle our way to victory, just like Elvis the Pelvis, and after a pearl, Vic, the old ironmonger, will be approaching shortly to buy some drinks at the local public house, and also to thumb his way through the catalogue of, of geographic material that teaches you about the various countries in the world. It's female own good, sunshine. And to be honest, uh, to be honest, I think that it's about time that we brought all of this, this tarsal fucking crazy nonsense to an end. And and meta tarsals ourselves out of Windows 98 because after all yeah it's time to end it because as they say you know what they say all phalanges phalange phalanges very goodbye everyone wanna bone up on your amazing body no 